So recently a film came out about the father of atomic bomb, Robert Oppenheimer. But did you know that Pakistan has an almost similar story called Abdul Qadir Khan? Born in Bhopal in 1936, Egu Khan received his early education at Karachi University. His interest in physics grew which took him to Berlin to study metallurgical engineering and later studied in the Netherlands and Belgium also. But Egu Khan came to fame when India tested their first atomic bomb in 1974. Just last week, India conducted a series of nuclear explosive tests, reminding us that technology is not always a force for good. Emotional and patriotic Adi Khan wrote to then Prime Minister Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, offering his services for the country to build their very own bomb. Zulfikar Ali Bhutto was famously suspicious about Egu Khan, and he tasked PAEC, which is Pakistan Atomic Energy Commission, to figure out this man. After quick verification, the Prime Minister was told that he is capable to produce a nuclear bomb. With a vast network of colleagues in Europe, they were able to source key research elements that enabled Egu Khan to be bomb ready by 1984. Mostly through the 1980s and early 90s, Zahulak's government was not ready to test the bomb. But in 1998, 11th May, India tested the second bomb. And at this point, it was common knowledge that Pakistan had a nuclear bomb. It was just never tested. It was never announced to the world. But under Nawaz Sharif's government, the first nuclear bomb was tested on 28 May 1998, two weeks after India. Juhi tajribat kamyab huye, saistano aur engineeron ki team ne naray takbir Allah wakta ka nara lagaya. Pakistan today successfully conducted five nuclear tests. Soon after the celebration of the first Islamic bomb, the accusations started flooding in. A.Q. Khan was internationally accused as a nuclear smuggler. Times magazine quoted A.Q. Khan as a merchant of menace. We believe A.Q. Khan remains a serious proliferation risk. In 2004, then-President General Musharraf met CIA chief in New York and saw some proofs and evidence that made him furious. He came to Pakistan and A.Q. Khan is arrested. Soon A.Q. Khan appeared on live TV and confessed to his accusations. The investigation is established that many of the reported activities did occur and that these were inevitably initiated at my behest. In my interviews with the concert government officials, I was confronted with the evidence and the findings and I have voluntarily admitted that much of it is true and accurate. He was put in exile and monitored by the government 24-7. For years, Egu Khan lived in isolation in his house in Islamabad. He was not allowed to appear on TV and interviews limited or governed. Much later in 2009, the government freed A.Q. Khan from isolation and was declared a free man. After years of house arrest, the architect of Pakistan's nuclear weapons program is roaming free. There are no winners and no losers. A.Q. Khan once said in an interview, I saved Pakistan when I made the nuclear bomb, and I saved it again when I took the blame for everything.